Okay, in this presentation what we're going to look at is the proportion of defective components coming from two factories. So this is going back to our manufacturing process example that we used in previous videos. Essentially what I'm interested in, uh, P here stands for population proportion of defective components and it's a sort of say that the rate is, the null hypothesis is that the rate is the same for both factories. Okay, factory A and factory B, do they have the same rate of defective components or is one worse? So um, we're going to work on a very simple basis that are they equal to each other, yes or no. We can later on, we can figure out, you know, if we want to sort of say which one's worse, which one's better, is it, is it statistically significantly worse and so on. So I'm going to sort of go here to my data now. So I have the manufacturing process data in there somewhere. There we go, that's the manufacturing process data. So I have two categorical variables. I have factory, okay, and I have defective. So there's factory A and there's also factory B down there. And I have defective, zero for not defective, as to say it's good. And down somewhere we would have fact, uh, one, which would say not defective. Now before I get into a test, what I'm gonna do actually is, essentially in the gist of it is what I'm doing here, is go to stat, basic stat statistics and go to two proportions, the two proportions test. But before I do that, I might just sort of backtrack a little bit and go to a cross tabulation. So I'm going to do just get a quick cross tabulation of the factory rates. So factory is we're going to have in the rows and defective on the columns. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which one or the other. Uh, you can have it the other way around if you want. I just have it like that, just the way I came in. Um, so I'm also going to add in row percentages, okay, and column percentages. I don't really need row percentages or column percentages. I'll just stick with or uh, I'll just stick with row percentages. So it would tell me. Oh, it'll actually sort of see what row percentages look like when we when we have this here. Now the thing here called chi squared and other stats. We're going to leave that for later on. So click OK. Now, this is our session window, and there we go. It's just how to bring it back into shot. Essentially, what it says here is that for factory A, we have all together 2,400 items. Of that 2,400 items, 221, 2,221 are good, 179 are bad. So it seems that are defective. So it seems that 7.46% uh, are defective. That's terrible. We're only supposed to have 2%. Factory B is not so bad. Uh, 4.92. Okay. Now it's not so bad. It's not as bad as 7.46. Now, altogether the overall defective rate is 6.14. You can just see it down there at the bottom. All. Now, what we're sort of saying here is this just a sort of a bad, bit of bad luck that we just happen to pick up some, like more uh, did, was it we did we just happen to pick up some um more in factory a by accident that really they're just as bad as each other it just just uh, whatever data we collect it just ha happens to favor factory b it, can we get mu this much of a difference between factory a and factory b just by chance considering the sample size it's a bit unlikely but let's just test it out properly so let's go back here what's our null hypothesis what's our, our alternative hypothesis population proportion of defective components is the same for both factory a and factory b remember population proportion we've seen sample proportions are different but that doesn't necessarily translate to population proportions okay so um let's go here so what we do here and where am i yeah click on this so what i'm going to do here is done run a two sample test so I go to the stat basic statistics two proportion samples determine whether the sample proportion of an event for two groups differs significantly so the two groups here is factory a factory b the event is is it defective click on that so um, I have it already picked out. Defective is the samples that we're looking at. So that's a categorical variable. We always put in categorical variables here. And usually what we're interested in is binary variables. It works best. So you might notice here that binary 0 or 1, that works best for setting up this data here. Factory or sample IDs is just like which factories are we looking at. Sample uh, factory 1 and factory 2 or factory A, factory B. Okay. Options. 95%, hypothesized difference is zero, oh golly, and 
the alternative hypothesis difference is not equal to hypothesized difference as in difference is not equal to zero that's to say there's some difference okay um, that's a two sample test okay or sorry two tail test click OK and OK there we go there's the data again this is the, the estimates there now Difference is for P of factory A minus P of factory B. Again, if they're equal, that difference is zero. Now we see that there's a difference about 2.5%. Okay. Here we see a difference of 2.5% or 0.025. Now there's a 95% confidence interval for that difference. So it means is that uh, factory B or factory A is almost as at least 1.1% higher and as much as 3.8% higher, roughly, okay? So it sort of says that like we're pr pretty sure that the difference in rates between those two factories is that much. And looking down here, we really see the p-value. Here the p-value is massive. Or no, sorry, it's really tiny. It's not massive, it's the opposite, it's tiny. That's to sort of say that it's uh, we've significant. So let's just see how do we interpret that. Now it's a two-tail test, so this is actually written here for a one-tail test. So a two-tail test is not by not two five. Just stick a two in there between zero and five. So if the p-value is less than not point not two five, we reject the null hypothesis. There is enough evidence to say that the null hypothesis is wrong. So the null hypothesis is wrong. What is the null hypothesis? That the difference is equal to zero. That means that there's no difference between the proportion of factory A and factory B. Essentially what we're saying here is that factory A is bad. Okay, they're not factory A is not the same as B. Okay. Now what we could do here is actually just do a little one tail test. Can we sort of say that it's worse than A? Is A worse than B? So we go to a one tail test. Uh regression. Sorry, no, uh, two proportions. So go down here to options. Is difference greater than zero? So it's A minus B. So is it worse? Click OK. There we go. Yeah, it's much worse. Uh, well, we can say it is worse than B. A is worse than B. OK. Uh, it just takes a little bit of a while to get the hang of... Uh, one tail tests and two tail tests is not really part of my video on mini tab it's a sort of different thing that I'll discuss separately but anyway that's how we do the test uh, the two sample proportion test equal and not equal is a two tail test greater than or equal to versus less than or less than or equal to versus greater than that's a one tail test I'll leave it there